Opinion Source SDK Base 2007 Gameplay Source SDK Base 2007 is a game slash tool that is shared between all owners of Valve Source games and locked to a particular engine branch. It is used by modders to base their projects on the Source 2007 engine, which is the same engine used by games such as Half-Life 2, Episode 2, Portal, and Team Fortress 2. Both single-player and multiplayer mods can use Source SDK Base 2007. To play Source SDK Base 2007 or any mod based on it, you need to install it from Steam-Library-Tools or from the link below, install slash run Source SDK Base 2007, app ID, 218, Steam slash slash install slash 218. Once you have installed Source SDK Base 2007, you can launch it from Steam or from your desktop shortcut. You will see a main menu with options such as New Game, Find Servers, Options, etc. You can also access the console by pressing the tilde key. To play a mod based on Source SDK Base 2007, you need to download and install the mod files in your Steam directory, usually located at c colon backslash program files, x86, backslash steam backslash steam apps backslash source mods. You also need to restart Steam for the mod to appear in your library. You can then launch the mod from Steam or from your desktop shortcut. You will see a main menu similar to Source SDK Base 2007, but with some differences depending on the mod. Some of the popular mods based on Source SDK Base 2007 are, Black Mesa, https colon slash slash store.steampowered.com slash app slash 362890 slash black underscore mesa, a remake of Half-Life with improved graphics and gameplay. Gary's Mod, https colon slash slash store.steampowered.com slash app slash 4000 slash Gary's underscore mod, a sandbox game that lets you create and play with various objects and physics. Synergy, https colon slash slash store.steampowered.com slash app slash 17520 slash synergy, a co-op mod that lets you play Half-Life 2 and its episodes with your friends. The Stanley Parable, https colon slash slash store.steampowered.com slash app slash 221910 slash the underscore Stanley underscore parable, a meta narrative game that explores choice and consequence. Under help, colon slash slash www.moddb.com slash mod slash under help, a horror game that combines action, stealth, and survival. Here are some tips for playing Source SDK Base 2007, asterisk start with the tutorials asterisk the Source SDK Base 2007 comes with a number of tutorials that can help you learn the basics of the SDK. These tutorials cover topics such as creating maps, scripting, and using the Source Engine. Asterisk use the Source SDK forums asterisk the Source SDK forums are a great resource for getting help with the SDK. You can find answers to your questions, get help with troubleshooting, and share your work with other developers. Asterisk join the Source SDK community Asterisk there are a number of Source SDK communities online where you can connect with other developers. These communities can be a great source of support and inspiration. Asterisk be patient Asterisk learning to use the Source SDK takes time and effort. Don't get discouraged if you don't understand something right away. Just keep practicing and you'll eventually get the hang of it. Here are some additional tips. Asterisk start with a simple project Asterisk when you're first starting out, it's a good idea to start with a simple project. This will help you learn the basics of the SDK without getting overwhelmed. Asterisk use the source SDK documentation Asterisk the source SDK documentation is a great resource for learning about the SDK. You can find information on everything from creating maps to scripting to using the source engine. Asterisk experiment Asterisk don't be afraid to experiment with the SDK. Try different things and see what happens. This is the best way to learn how the SDK works. Asterisk have fun, the source SDK is a great way to learn about game development and have fun at the same time. So relax, experiment, and enjoy the process.